Um, you know how Maya Angelou always says, um, her quote, and I can't quote it, I'm going to paraphrase it. It's not about what a person does. It's not about what a person looks like. It's or what a person has. It's about how a person makes you feel. Right? It's what you remember. And, uh, you know, sometimes we run into people or we see people out in the store or something like that. And you know your personality. And they might say something to you that might shake you, you know. You might um, be having a good day or some kind of childhood memory or going to some kind of mosque or church event or, you know, or something. And somebody says something, you can be feeling really good. And they say something and it just takes your spirit away. Especially when you know it's not your character. And a lot of times people project on you, right? Because um, I, I remember when as a young girl I used to go, does it? Does he or she treat everybody like that? And then as you get older, you find out you're not the only one. This person or man or woman has could have a lot of issues. And they project when they come into a room or some kind of event, their energy is what's foul. They, maybe they try to make it seem like, you know, you're not attractive enough. You don't, you know, you look good. Or you're not doing your work performance or, you know, just something to talk about or your energy isn't set. So this is the premises or general readings. This is a tarot thought. Only if you're drawn to them is entertainment purposes only. How did they make you feel? Um, love, crush, ex husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, situation, shit, um, whatever. I'm just trying to name some partner. How did this person make you feel the last time um, you saw them? Hot topics. Topics. I, I've never tried none of these topics that came on my spirit this morning. We're going to get them done, though. We're going to get them done. How did this. Um, <coughs> this seat is the most uncomfortable. Okay, how did this person make you feel the last time you saw them? Okay, so I come to me. How did this person make Pal 2 feel the last time they saw them? Okay. I could be wrong, you don't let me know. Y'all not gonna let me know that. Now it's funny, one had the Ace of Hazards. Um, the first card came out was the Ace of Hazards, and it was this way. So one made the person feel encouraged and supportive. You can do it. And this one, this person just took your whole spirit away. Made you feel like you was less than, that you were inferior. Um, yeah, this is funny. You know, like they were better than you. My right foot is burning. Didn't give you high five for your efforts. Maybe you support, encourage this man or woman. Could be a co-worker, could be a crush, could be an ex-husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, sister, other. Long distance relationships. This just took your breath away. There's no beginnings. You're not going to have a relationship with this person. Relationships could be, you know, with your kids. Um, you know, lovers. Um, you know, um, you know, getting to know somebody. Relationships is a big word, right? But this person didn't give you high five for nothing. I could be wrong. Financial rewards made you feel like you was not. You were beneath them. Um, if this is like a wedding or a ring or engagement or a date or something like that, that made you feel like it wasn't going to happen. This came upside down and the first one came um, the other way. The first one, they were very encouraging, supportive, tough love, gave them direction, let them know that they were confident. This person just took your breath away. How did this person make you feel um, the last time you saw him? And I could be wrong, saw her and him. Ace of Wands, new task. Creative energies. Shine, new task, motivation, and energy. The last time you saw this person, um, you could be asking about more than one um, um, person. Um, they made you feel like you're very sexual. You're very um, attractive type men and women. You have a lot of creativity. Um, you have a lot of motivation. You could always be starting new things. Um, you're very energized. You have high energy. Um, you like to shine. Maybe you like attention. Um, why do I feel like it's more than one person? Yeah, you could have, uh, um, because the last time you um, um, saw this person, how did it make you feel? So it could be a co-worker scene. It could be, you know, you were out in a, um, you know, a club or some kind of environment. Or you could have been at work or something like that. Um, you know what I mean? Where they, I feel like there was more than one um, person um, that you could be asking about. Um, and then just giving somebody a bone and they got bulls on their thing. How did this person make you feel? With the boils. Somebody made you sick. Made you feel sick. Maybe you got physically sick too. Um, I know I was Friday when I went um, to hear the Go Go Band. Um, I, I tell y'all, like, some of the men was kissing me on my cheek and hugging me, and that's fine. Um, but, you know, I, I, because my immune system is so low and it's not good because I don't eat right my diet and nutrition and stuff, I'm very susceptible to catching, um, catching stuff. You I know, mean, some people go through life and never get sick. Wow, it's amazing. Anything else? How did this person make you feel? I'm seeing the bulls. Somebody could have made you sick. 
how did the last time you seen this person? I, I never done this before, y'all. I'm just pulling. I'm just seeing what the cards say. It could be more than one person. It could be your kids. It could be your ex-husband, wife, boyfriend. I don't know. Co-worker. Just, I'm just saying how this person make you feel. But somebody made you feel inferior. Yeah, they felt, they thought they were better than you. How did this person make you feel? Or maybe they didn't even want you to um, encourage them. Distant. How did this person make you feel? Last time you saw saw this person right now. Tinder hazards. Well, I don't know. It's like mixed. So you could have went into an environment where you're seeing some people and they really admire, you know, your contributions. You know, maybe you're very wealthy or you're very stable or stable-minded. You know what I mean? You have a sense of family. Um, they made you feel very content. Maybe they made you feel welcoming. Adversaries seem manageable is what I channel. So if there was people envious or jealous or something like that, it, it, it's, it's like natural. It was, it was no big deal. Could have been a work environment. I just, you just felt like, you know, it is what it is. I'm here. You know what I mean? I have to see my family, my siblings, um, you know, my crush. You know, I'm good ready to meet my this long distance person that I haven't met. I just feel like if it's cope instead, maybe you had to meet family and friends or you're around an environment where the people aren't really, you don't really know them, but they still made you feel, you know, but then there were zombies there. So you could have, could have felt a little out of place. Like this is not really my stomping ground or, you know, maybe my church or my mosque where I go to or where I go out at, you know what I mean? Somebody could have talked about you and you didn't really know that they were talking about you. And why I say that is because the zombies are laughing like you really, really feel comfortable around us, huh? But, you know, somebody's still talking about you. You can always get talked about. So last time you've seen this person, how they make you feel? I think there's a few people. I could be wrong, right? I, I'm not going to say like it ain't a few people. I feel like it's a few people here. I, I, I don't know. The last time you um, saw this person... I should have put all persons, but it don't matter. It's spiritual work. How do they make you feel? Give this dog a bone. Give this dog a bone. They might make you feel like you were chasing them or they just want to give you breadcrumbs, give you a bone, you know, or pick a bone with you. Pick a bone. Pick a bone. What is that? Starting some shit, slamming your name, making up some shit. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And there's boils. Somebody's intentions wasn't right. You ever say something to somebody? You ever play that game in school and you say something to somebody? Um, let's just say this. So I say, example, I thought you were going to be a lot more compassionate and empathetic because I had a cancer scare, right? Time to get back to the other thing. It was, she said this and she said that, and it was nothing like that. It was about compassion and being empathetic. Subliminal mess messages. You get that? People, I feel like in this pile, people might twist their energy um, or the way they, they perceive you or the way they take you. And so how they make you feel is that you be kind of on cautious mode because you don't know how this shit going to go. Tina Hazard is you're very settled. You know, you're very caring, loving men and women, whether they're around your family, you know, your animals, you know, your friends, family, something like that. But there's always some outsiders that make you feel a little uneasy and unsure because you don't know which way this shit going to go. And we got the ace of hazard upside down. Right. <clears throat> so how did this the last time you see this person, how do you make you feel? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, take my medicine. I mean, this is an ace of swords. This is my sword of truth. I thought I was off. Trials, action, intellect, get to the real issues, have a game plan. I feel like it was some kind of tick for tack power struggle. Maybe it was you against some people or you against this person, and somewhere some reality was distorted. So that was a good example. Somewhere there's some written, and that's why I don't lose no sleep at night, because I'm a woman. I know what I say. I know what I do. I'm not running my mouth. I'm not telling friends and grown-ups. I can handle my own shit, right? I don't need to run and tell nobody. <laughs> I just not, I, you know, my kids know I keep a secret. That's just who I am. I don't really care if somebody lie on me and slander my name. I've been so conditioned and programmed to that that it's like a second nature. And I know that sounds bad, but that's that's just how some people are. They they have they make themselves feel good by lying and telling stories on you. If I fight every battle of um um of what people lie and tell stories on me, then I'll be crying and I'll be upset all day. Um, all I can do is just give it to the universe, Jesus, God, Allah, the ancients, the ancestors, and, and let it and let it 
play out. Your character is, 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 is who you are anyway. If you know you're not a person who's low energy and you're mean spirited and all that, then I mean your character is going to show that. If you're a person that's hot tempered and you want everything your way and you're controlling and or you know you got a nasty attitude as a man or a woman or you know you're harsh or you know you act like you're better than somebody like that, it's going to come out, right? It's going to come out. It's like they say when you win the lottery, um, people don't change. This is who you really were if you had money. So if you were a giver, you probably going to still give it from, from glamorous. I can't Said, but if you was cheap and thrifty or you was just selfish or you still you just want to be it on a different scale. I don't know why I gotta say this to you guys. We got hazard, we got money, and we got the sword of truth. Let me see. The last time you saw this person, <clears throat> how did they make you feel? <clears throat> hold on, y'all. Hold on. Whew. The last time you saw this person, honey. Six of hazard. And it came upside down. Like you were pouring into them. You were pouring it. It says reward, um, rewards um, by your allegiance, looking out for their own interests, generous. The last time you saw this person, you could have, um, how did it make you feel? This is a little different from one. You could have been very, very nice, very caring, very loving, trying to pour into some um, body that wasn't um, pouring into you. Hold on, y'all. All right, busy day. I think I was saying this word of truth. Um, maybe somebody, how they make you feel that you, you couldn't figure out if they were, you know, were they real or not? Maybe they, um, oh yeah, six and a half times now. Maybe they had different, um, a motivation, you know, they weren't really being nice and generous and kind and stuff. It was put on because they wanted something. Maybe they wanted something, um, from, from you, you know what I mean? Maybe you had to get back more in alignment of looking at it in a clear vision like why am I around these people why am I at this job or why am I loving this man or woman or something like that Some, I, I just feel like the way they made you feel made you question like is this real um is this person um you know really my friend um my associate that's interesting really my friend my associate do they appreciate my support my uh, my gesture me pouring into him or her or something like that and I just feel like um um, um yeah I just feel like this person's motivation or people it wasn't real. And so how they made you feel? You question, you started questioning your environment. You question, you know, maybe the love you have for this person or if you like this person or your friendship or the validity of, you know, um, why you're in this environment anyway. Yeah, I just decided how they make you feel. Let me see you. The last time you seen um, this person, how they make you feel? I feel like it's more than one person, people. I feel like some people were really glad to see you and some people were very, very fake and phony and perpetrated the fraud. And I feel like a lot of these people are users and they take advantage. And I feel like they they like your energy because maybe you build them up, you support them, you encourage them. But I don't feel like they give you the same energy that you gave them. And that's how it made you feel. It made you take a um, introspective look and realize, you know, is this an environment that I need to be in? Work environment, friends, family, or something like that because it doesn't seem like they're giving me the same thing I gave them, right? Some of them come off as real and true, and it, 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 I think some of them are, but I think that, that uh, and, and I think that's what sustains you, that's what keeps you in this environment, but then the rest of them, I feel like you're very, very unsure, um, and I think you try to justify it. So how does person, these people make you feel, a person make you feel, um, like they have hidden motivations, right? The night might be the same as yours. How does this person make you feel? Oh my God, sometimes I, I amaze myself. Ten of Swords talks about psychological, mental, emotional, physical, um, you know, uh, um, how does that person make you feel? They make you feel, maybe they make you reminisce of the rejection, the hurt, the pain, the betrayal, the lies, the disappointment, the despair, the rut, the ruin, um, disaster, destruction. Oh, you got to start all over. You got to meet new friends, get new crushes, get new, um, um, you know, people that you meet online, date different. Um, maybe made you feel like it's time for me to get a divorce, separate, or separate from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. I mean, it made, I feel like it kind of threw you back because I feel like this is a part that you have a lot of growth and a lot of healing. And then you get, you maybe, this could be love too, or, you know, crush, or somebody you met online, or, you know, or something like that. I feel like you would have wanted a sense of belonging, you know, a, you know, a sense of welcoming. And I don't think this person, I don't think this person was the same alignment with you. This is hurt people, hurt people, or this is instigators, agitators, um, antagonistic, get some shit started, um, gossiping type energy. I'm sorry, that's what I feel. And it, it makes me feel nauseous to my stomach because this talks about give and take, you know, being generous and pouring to you. You pour to me and it came upside down. Ace of um, hazard and the ace of hazard, um, 
um, coin came upside down and maybe you support maybe you give money maybe you you know you do something for these people you know what i mean but i feel like they don't give it back i feel like they have uh, hidden motive uh, uh, things let me do you, how does this person make you feel yeah because see this is that bone you give a dog a bone and he got bulls and stuff now you gonna give me this to eat i told you i was hungry do you think i'm a dog i'm gonna fetch and i'm gonna do what you want me to do and say what you want me to say and act the way you want me to say i'm a human being humanize me i'm not robotic i'm not ai i'm not you know um kissing your butt and people please and i feel like this man or woman made or people or siblings something like that made you realize how they make you feel i, I don't like this energy this is the kind of energy that i i, I I'm, I'm i'm unsure of and i and i'm gonna have to push back so if this man or woman say they don't ever want to see you again they they did you a favor because this is not the consistent loving energy environment that you want to be in. If you got fired, they can promote you. Damn, that's one door to close. Start your own business or go work with somebody else. If this man or woman don't love you and care about you and it's time for us to wrap, to get you a divorce, separation or something like that, they don't appreciate what you do or just an over in general, your support stuff. This is a wrap for me. Can't tell you what to do. This is the sword of truth. Thank you, anxious, for having my back because it's causing me too much psychological and emotional um, you know, um, you know, it could be mental, physical. It could even be some physical, make you feel some kind of way. Look, I'm not trying to age up for these people. I'm about to be 57 <laughs> or or a person. This is the type of um, energy that you don't know what you're gonna get when you get in when you get into this environment. So this is how they make you feel. Do your last card for this day. How does this man or woman or people make you feel? The last time you saw them. Good God Almighty. This is the lover's card. This could be, let's deal with the love too. Um, romance, blurred vision. Remember I said you can't really tell. Sex, um, decision, let let go of a relationship. You could have felt like you did this man or woman, you had something, but you see that's a zombie. So he's crossing his fingers. Like this man or woman could like play you, lead you on, breadcrumb you. Crush, ex-husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, significant other side. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Let's just talk about the love. You know, somebody you haven't met or, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, it was so blurred. Like, you, when you left and you seen this man or woman, you don't know what direction you don't go. And so, if you, it sounds very faulty foundation. So, if it's a crush or somebody you really like or care about or somebody online or, you know what I mean, or your husband or wife or like that, it doesn't feel stable. It doesn't, it's like, it's like blurred. Like, a, like a channel is like a blurred passion. It's like one-sided. And I feel like that's how they made you feel. Remember, these are hot topics. Only a few people are going to be drawn to this. When you're drawn to it, it's because something is sitting on your spirit going, I wonder this question. And maybe it's only take about 10% and say, this shit don't belong to me. I feel like this person may, may cause you some psychological and emotional hurt and pain. And it made you reminisce of the pain and the rejection that you already felt. Right? The lovers talks about a choice. This person might make you feel like you're in competition with your choice. You know what I'm saying? Have you seen some of the men and women that put you in competition with? Maybe that's what you're questioning. Like, I'm a, I'm a good man. I'm a good woman. You put me in competition with men and women. Even though looks don't have anything to do with it. Finance is nothing. It has to do with the heart. But it also has to do with character. Right? And energy. And, you know, and, and supporting and encouraging and being nice. The Bible talk. I was just saying, if you practice Muslim, if you're a practicing Muslim, I'm going to tweet this out. I'm, I, I have to say this, and I'm going to say this in my tweet. You may need to go back to being a Christian because the Christian teaches you about seven fruits love and kindness and long suffering. Somewhere in y'all religion, y'all forgot to be loving and kind. You're right. Be loving and kind, right? Even the Bible talks, even for Christians, if you are a Christian, let me remind you to be loving and kind. And I feel like this is this type of environment. One shout out, Craig, where you're you're meeting people who are judgmental, who are gossipy, and they're not showing you the love and compassion. And just if you're not religious at all, you know what I mean? It's spiritual, you're an atheist, you just want to be where you're it's more concrete, where it's more settled, where you could where you, where it's not like I'm I'm being a pick me. This is for friends, family, coworkers, or whatever, and 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 they're not seeing your worth. And I feel like this is how it made you feel. Like you're not valued. Let me give you this. Any religion, right? How did this man or woman make you feel? Like you like like you're unworthy. Like you're inferior. My right friends not stop burning. Like you're inferior. Like you're not loved. Like you're not welcome. Nobody wants to be in that environment. That's an easy say. Okay, cool. <laughs> Go where you want it. Go where you're where you're where you're appreciated. Um, how does this man or woman make you feel? Last time you see him, star. Woo. <sighs> yeah. I said talked about, judged harshly, and it, and it made you remind you of the past and how you felt. You want to move away from that. 
um, betrayal, this is betrayal, lie, deceit, cheating, um, you know, cunning, um, you know, being manipulative, gaslighting, making feel like something is wrong or you're imagining things and, and that what you feel, what you see is not real and maybe narcissist energy. Like this person's energy, if you ask them about one or two people, um, they didn't make you feel good, right? Yeah. Made, they made you feel like you need to move forward and let this shit go, go into another direction. This is moving forward. Maybe you're in a business partner with this person or you wanted a business or something. Maybe you're following somebody online or something like that. You just want to move forward. You want to go in a different direction. You couldn't feel like it was just about sex for some of y'all. Conquer and conquest. Then maybe that you need to do some more healing. Why are you attracting these type of men and women? Maybe you need to let stuff go and let shit go. I feel like this is the last, how you, this person made you feel. Yeah, I do feel like you felt st like a star and empowered, but then I feel like they they made you feel like that you're you're sm you're small compared to them and they're a bigger fish in the pond. I don't know why, that's just what that's just what I'm feeling. And I feel like now, you see how they, this talks about healing and awakening and stuff, right? It's, it's a loaded card, but you see how this person is transparent, pouring stuff out. So maybe there's some more stuff that you need to pour out. So what these people did to you or a person did to you, what they did is they they gave you that last little um, critical push to move away from talk to be places and things and lowering yourself to be around um, environments that are not welcoming or conducive to your mental physical spiritual you get what i'm saying whether it's a love interest whether it's family friends siblings um co-workers or jobs what they did for you is they did you a favor because i feel like you're lowering yourself as men and women to have these people try to love you welcome you accept you not judge you and i feel like it's just not working because they're operating out of this energy you know harshly judging you and you know just being mean-spirited and stuff like that and this is a this is the um the seven of pentacles and they wanted to come out and um it talks about investing so maybe you need to invest more time in yourself you know advertise for yourself love yourself get you somebody new um uh, find you a new job reinvent yourself you know what i mean and be consistent don't give your you know the bible talks about don't give your um pearls um to swine that's the wrong with muslim religion because i'm here somebody my dad was what is it um, 33rd Mason can't be 32nd can't be 33 was a Muslim um, you know and all that and I read the books nothing that I'm talking about because this is my channel show more love I say this to Christians too show more love you're going to be up under that doctrine I got to be able to see it the world got to be able to see it you ever hear that saying they go if they would have met Jesus first and not Christians they would have stayed as a Christian or been a Christian I'm feeling that energy I got I to gotta shout you out again. He know what I'm talking about. Hi, Craig. At the end of the day, um, I just feel like you need to invest in yourself. And this is what this person, how this person made you feel. They gave you a turning point, a critical point in your life. It could be love, family, friends, I don't care, school or something like that, job, whatever, where you need to invest and spend all this on you and, and cultivate and get rid of some things that no longer serve you. I feel like that's how this person made you feel.